Hey, what's up you guys? Chris here back with another video. And last week we took a look at the Steel Series Arctis Nova Pro for a review to see if it's still worth the $350 it sells for at retail two years after its release. Now this week we are going back into some Pokemon trading card stuff with the newest product releases for Shrouded Fable, one of the newest sets in the Pokemon trading card game. And this is one of the coolest promo boxes I've ever seen. This is the Greninja EX Special Illustration Collection. And I have to say this card is so nice looking. I have just been seeing people go crazy about this promo card. We typically don't get promos this awesome in these types of boxes, but I am so happy to say that we are opening up one of these boxes today and hopefully we can get some cool pulls. I'm kind of going into this set a little blind, hoping that we can pull some pretty awesome stuff. So I'll put on the screen some of the chase cards people are searching for, just so you guys have an idea of what people are looking for in the set. As for me, I'm going in completely blind trying to just enjoy the set for what it is. And hey guys, right before we get into the unboxing, I do wanna just give you guys a reminder to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy this type of video. I really would appreciate it. It helps push the video in the algorithm. And plus it'll let me know that you guys are enjoying this type of content so I can continue making it. But that's enough self promo. Why don't we get into the unboxing? All right, guys, so as you can see, this is Arker Ninja EX Special Illustration Collection Box. As you can see, this is the promo up front. We'll take a deeper look into that in a moment, but it also seems to come with five Shrouded Fable booster packs and two other types of promos. Let's just get into it. Honestly, if you guys aren't new to the channel, you know that we've been having some sort of like a drought with pulls lately. I haven't really pulled anything insane in any recent videos. So I'm hoping we can get lucky. From what I did end up seeing online, there is a really cool Cassiopeia card, but that's kind of it for me. I don't know any other cards that are in the set. So let's take a look at these cards. I'm really excited for this new set. We do need some more luck in pulls. So I like to think a new set is a new opportunity for good pulls, that's for sure. So let's pull this guy out. And let's flop these bad boys over. We'll toss that back there. And right off the bat, let's see what we can get going here. So we got a code card for, so we got a code card for anybody who wants. And here are the promos. We got this cute little froggy, this frogged ear, which looks so cool. Look at that. And then we have this awesome looking Greninja EX illustration card. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen a card as nice as this coming as a promo. This thing is beautiful. I'm definitely going to be putting this in a sleeve and putting it somewhere safe because this just is mm, chef's kiss. I love it so, so much. We're gonna put these over to the side though and we'll put our Greninja in a sleeve just so he's all nice and protected. Look at him right there. And let's get into these Shrouded Fable booster packs. So like I said, I have yet to open up any packs in the set. I will say the pack arts look a little basic. I wish they could have gone a little more above and beyond for some of these arts, but who knows? Let's see how these pulls end up being because we definitely need some good pulls. This is our first booster pack. Here is another code card. Move one to the front. Ooh. And we got us a water type energy. We got a Houndoom. Eevee, look how cute that art is. We also have Dartrix, a Persian. That is also some pretty cool art. Uh, Yvaltel, we got Hypno, Weavile. We got Colrus Tenacity, which is a reverse. We got a reverse Tapu Bulu, which I actually haven't seen a card for this one in a while. And then we got a hollow Tapu Bulu. So, I guess that's making up for the lack of seeing him the past couple of sets, but we'll put these guys over the side. We still have another four booster packs to go. I am really looking forward to seeing if we can pull at least one rare card or ultra rare, but you know, the odds are a little slim recently. So let's cross our fingers. Ooh, right off the bat, we have a hollow energy card. Look at that. That is so cool. And we're gonna go with a Duskull. We got a Toxicroak, an Inkay. We got a Joltik, a Colrus Tenacity. We got an Iron Moth, also pretty cool looking card. Look at that. We got another Uvaltol, a Sylveon Reverse. I do like this reverse hollow pattern they had for sure, guys. Look how cool that is. 
That's just really awesome. And then we got an Axew reverse. And finally, we have a Blood Moon Ursaluna. Okay, not rare, but still pretty cool. I don't think we've had Blood Moon Ursaluna in this set yet. So I'm happy to add it to the collection. We'll put these cards over to the side and let's go with booster pack number three. I am feeling the luck, guys. Cross your fingers for me. So let's move this to the front. This is our third booster pack for this box. We have a basic electric energy, a crow gunk. We got a stuffle, a rowlet, a fur fru. Look at him. We got a yvaltal. A Colrus Tenacity, a Genesect, we got a Power Glass Reverse Hollow, we got a Horsey Reverse Hollow, and another Blood Moon Ursaluna. So, obviously, not great luck, but I've been hearing mixed things about this set overall. Some people are saying the pull rates are just as bad as the other recent sets. I was hoping that wouldn't be the case, but. Let's take a peek right now into our fourth booster pack. We got a Psychic Energy, a Duskull, a Qfint. We got an Inkay. We got a Joltik. Uh, then we got 06 Mech... I cannot pronounce this first name. I cannot pronounce this first name, guys, so you're going to have to forgive me on that one. We got a Sylveon, a Binding Mochi, a Reverse Varum. We got a Reverse Kirim. Also didn't know he was in the set. And, oh, dude, we got a Petra Run EX Full Art. Look at that. Holy cow. This thing is gorgeous. Just look at that. Wow. I love how the reflection, like the reflection of the light on the card. That is such a cool looking card. Wow. And it made sense. We pulled the Binding Mochi in the same pack. So that goes hand in hand with each other. Dude, this is awesome awesome look how cool he is wow let's put this in a sleeve so we don't mess him up i think this is a pretty cool looking card i'm happy to add it to the collection and let's continue on with our final pack let's cross our fingers and hope that there's another awesome pull in this pack and as we've done with many other videos real quick let's pray to our lord arceus i'm sure he will help us in this moment dear lord arceus Please give us the magic powers you have to make this last pack magic real. We appreciate all that you do for the Poke world. We love you and your cosmic powers. Thank you so much, Lord Arceus. Amen. Now, let's get into this final pack. I am really hoping we can get another banger in addition to what we just got. So we're going right in. We got our fighting type energy. We got Zora. We got a Beware, a Sneasel, an Eevee. We got a Sylveon, another Binding Mochi. We got a Malamar, a Reverse Colrus Tenacity. Oh, a Reverse Haxorus and a Dusknor. So uh, nothing crazy there, but at least we got one cool pull out of this box. I was not expecting anything crazy at all. Uh, considering our luck in the last few Pokemon card videos. But real quick, let me just clean up around here and we'll do a quick recap overall. All right, gang, so this is what we got out of the box. We didn't get too much, but I'm kind of happy we got what, one of the cards that we did. We got the Froakie that came as a promo, a Frogadier, and this awesome, beautiful Greninja illustration card, as well as this Petrarunt full art, which just looks awesome i love that blue background along with the purple of the pokemon itself so i'm really happy to add this one to the collection but let me know what you guys think do you think this box was worth i believe the 30 or 40 dollars that you have to spend to buy it i think the illustration card is awesome i think the last few sets pokemon has really been lacking with the hit rates i don't know if they kind of tried to pull a bait and switch by making like pull rates higher when the new generation sets launched and then slowly pull back just to get people buying the cards once the new generation started. But I'm just not having great luck. I'm really getting discouraged from opening so many booster packs and not getting anything good. But you guys tell me what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to smash that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And make sure to subscribe for more Pokemon, gaming, tech, a whole bunch of other types of content. I really would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next week for another another video. Bye.